of you to join me. I'm Sheena Akagawa from the Blue Ocean Studios here in Beijing, and you're watching our show, Culture Outlook. Welcome. Coming up on today's show, we'll find out more about the ancient technique of woodblock printing, which actually originated here in China. And we'll meet the niece of Chinese former president, Rong Yi Ren, as she talks to us about her paintings. Woodblock printing is regarded as one of the four great inventions of ancient China. It is among the most globally significant innovations of the Tang and Song dynasties. Woodblock printing and movable text enabled the widespread publishing of text and the spread of knowledge and literacy. Let's find out more about this ancient technique. Woodblock printing was one of the most important inventions in old China. The revolutionary process originated in the Sui dynasty. To do woodblock printing, you have to find a tough piece of wood, cutting the wood into a block with a saw. Then write the required word on thin paper and put the opposite side of the paper onto the woodblock. Next, you carve the woodblock using a knife according to the shape of the word. Finally, use every word for the board. Now you can print books using the blocks. To print books, you have to brush the wood board in ink. You put the paper onto the word board and then use a clean brush to brush it. And thus, a sheet of paper is printed. Woodblock printing is an important invention, but it also has some weaknesses. It is a slow and lengthy process. It's costly, as it requires a lot of ink. And it's not very versatile, as you need to have a block for each word you want. But these shortcomings were helpful to promote the development of printing. Typography is a kind of movable block printing. Each word carved into a small square board that can make up a whole sentence. People can pick out the single word models and arrange them in order to make the sentence. China developed printing processes much earlier than Europe, about 400 years earlier. And the printing of Buddhist scriptures in the Tang Dynasty advanced the development of printing. The earliest woodblock printing masterpiece, Jing Gang Jing, is displayed in the British Museum. Not only the development of printing, but also the binding and layout of the books is continually changing. Dating back to the Qin Dynasty, People used bamboo or wood to make books. With bamboo, cutting it into short lengths and splitting it into two parts to form the top. The words are carved onto the bamboo and people string the strips together to form a book that can be rolled up. In the Hang Dynasty, it was popular to write on silk, but it was very costly and not very durable, so it didn't last long. Following the popularity of woodblock printing, people use paper to bind books. You need identically sized pages as the first and last page. And on one side of the book, holes are drilled and pages are strung together. Made this way, the book can be easier to read and easy to keep. This method has lasted for hundreds of years. This style of book is still loved by writers and poets. In modern times, mechanized printing methods have taken the place of handmade printing. Traditional books are found rarely on the market, but it cannot disappear from this world. On the contrary, it will become the treasure of literature. Rongyi Yuran was the Vice President of China from 1993 to 1998. He's often accredited with the opening of the Chinese economy to Western investment. Sadly, Rong passed away in 2005, but he survived by a rather large family, including his niece, Dorothy Young, a famous painter. Like to be under the sea. 
the procedure. That's the song. In the boxy garden, it's garden. 现在世界呢，都是都是一起了。中国呢，现在都是很强，都是第一名了。所以中国的花一定要出去，要中国的文化把放出去。我现在就是要给中国看，我是用中国的文化放到外国的油画一起。那么就是我的话，抽象画。I used to, you know, when I was young, we lived with my grandfather, and then we were. Uh, we live in the same house, and my, our teaching, our family teaching, is to do with uh, the old Chinese philosopher like the Taoism. And the most important is love your family, love your neighbor, love your, I think, the, your, your Wuxi means the state, the province, and love your country. And the main thing my grandfather always said, and my parents always said, is you have to be good to the people. And that is one thing of uh, the most important thing in the in the human society is to be good to the people. Dorothy Young is the niece of comrade Rong Yiren, former vice president of China. In 1940, Dorothy was born in Shanghai, which was under the reign of Japanese at that time. She was not raised in a traditional Chinese male-dominated family. She started to learn calligraphy and painting at a very young age. So my painting is a combination of multicultural, even though what you think my art might be, um, how would you call abstract? Contemporary art is not just abstraction of, a, it's of the mind. You have to have a meaning before you could paint. So all my painting has little stories behind it. Dorothy Young's family has a profound cultural and artistic heritage. Her mother is a painter, and many of her mother's predecessors were well-known poets and painters. Vision. Dorothy Young mainly received art education from a traditional Chinese teacher and Italian private tutor. It was during this period that she began to get familiar with bright colors and abstract painting style. So my art has to be Chinese. I just look at how to paint. How to paint? I paint using Chinese words. I become an abstract painter. I don't even know. 一看，哎呀，都是中国的文字在那边。呃，就是把我们中国的一些那个象影文字融入到他的抽象画里边。你看，比如这个就是我们品德的德的一部分，就是这个一个字一个口，是吧？然后这里是带着一个中国心字。Put the white a little bit white, yeah. She infuses sense of classicism into the form and color of modern art. Through the tact of spontaneous expression of emotion in Chinese traditional poetry. This one, you see, like this, 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 and now it's like global. When it's global, all different cultures are combined together and art has changed drastically. So my art is a combination of I using Chinese culture, which I'm Chinese and it's embedded in me for so long. The works of Dorothy is just like a series of emotional paintings, guiding the audience entering her deep mind. And in the meantime, manifesting the idea of universal love. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high, there's the land. I was using Chinese sing. Sing is sing. You, uh, 要呃对人好都是 sing， 要帮人都是 sing， 所以 sing 是很要紧的。Not going to destroy a can. Yeah, I could just. 
Traditional Chinese culture plays a more and more important role in her paintings. My contemporary art all has meaning. The meaning we're telling a message, what, what is in the message is very Chinese. And this is why I say I want to show Chinese people. I could use the Chinese culture and the Western painting and fuse together to be the contemporary art. <笑>这个呢是女的保家里这个是要女的要很当心一边做事一边当心不当心的就要到太阳烧掉所以要当心所以真的是女的一定要帮女的so what are there many dimensions? If the dimension has to come within the spiritual, you have to come 你到时间走了啦什么都大不出去的我为什么在这里呢我的祖父的灵我的爸爸的灵来看我可以帮一点 Dorothy Young's works are like a bridge for cross-cultural communication between China and the rest of the world And that's all we have for you today. If you liked what you saw, you can visit our website at www.bon.tv for more information and videos. I'm Shina Akagawa in Beijing. Thanks for watching Culture Outlook, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.